Hello, Church. Hello, Church. Hello, Christina. Hello, Rocky. <laughs> Rockina. <laughs> How are you today? Doing very well, actually. Oh, that's it's very been good. A, it's been an amazing week. It has. And uh, hopefully, uh, these restrictions are going to sort of start mm -hmm. coming down so we can actually meet together with everyone mm -hmm. at Jesus is the Way that in would be nice. Put to Scray. Yes. Yes. Now, I have got a surprise or something very interesting to share with the church. Oh, yeah? What is it? Watch. It's magic. Have a look, Chris. <laughs> we don't believe in magic. No, we don't. Please. <laughs> it's, um, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's a miracle. <laughs> Now, there's a reason why I'm wearing all this oh. paraphernalia oh. and all this type of stuff. Look, our church is in Footscray. Yes, it is. Footscray is the heart yes. of the Western Bulldogs. And on the Saturday the 25th, I think it is, we are going to have a great crack at getting that cup, that Premiership Cup, and bringing it back oh, okay. to the Western Oval. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> You know, it, look, look, I know that this is all fun and games and everything. I'll take my hat off as well. <laughs> okay, so you can see my face a little bit better. But do you remember the last time? This was actually five years ago. Five years ago. When we were travelling, we, we had been travelling in Italy for about three or four weeks. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know what was going on. This is the last time we won the Premiership. The yeah. Western Bulldogs won the Premiership. I didn't even know what was going on. I wasn't following the football no, at all. We hadn't initially. received any notices. And we were at Frankfurt Airport in Germany getting ready to go on a plane. We were in Germany that year. Yeah, no, we actually flew from uh, Italy to Germany to fly to New York. Okay. Remember that? Yeah, I remember flying to New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a funny name, Frankfurt, for, a, for an airport, isn't it? I mean, Frankfurt. It must be a food. Yeah, sausage. Frankfurt. Yeah. You know, an airport called Sausage. <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's an airport called Sausage. What do they call their sausages over there? I don't know. Woosts. Oh, yeah, they do. Woost. Woost. But Woost would be a better name for an airport, wouldn't it? You know, Woost. Wouldn't that be a better name for an airport? <laughs> Woost. But they call their airport there, Frankfurt, a sausage. Sausage airport. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, we got, we got on the... Uh, we got on the uh, on the plane. I, I, I just sat at my seat. I and, remember that. And yeah. then... Uh, and then, um, then Stephen, our nephew, mm -hmm. Harry's he, brother. Harry's brother. He calls. He says, Uncle Rocky, Uncle Rocky, you just beat the Greater Western Sydney in the preliminary final, and now you're playing in the grand final next week. I said, What? Because I hadn't <laughs> followed anything. I don't know what it, it could, look, it was something since 1954, since we actually um, won, a grand, won a grand final. I'm thinking, you know, there, there was a time when I thought, Will I ever, will I live to see a, uh, the Bulldogs play in a grand final? And he's telling me, I'm thinking, are you pulling my leg or what? And you said that there was a little tear there coming was. down. I, was I, you. I don't think there tear, was. One a, little tear. It was, it was, it was just a shock. <laughs> when we got to New York, because yeah. we were, we were flying to New York, and uh, we met up with Dominic Colombo, your sister and brother in law, and Emmy uh, as well, the other sister, the other sister in law. They had found out as well, and then we, we, we were scrambling to see where we can find, uh, see, watch, see, the game. watch the this grand yeah. final. Yeah. Where are we going to watch this grand final? So we 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 investigated, you know, some of these clubs. Or, no, sorry, um, uh, um, restaurants. <laughs> but they're all booked out. Oh, yeah. They're all we booked out. Go. We couldn't. So I had my little iPad. Mm. I had my little iPad, and I thought, what am I going to do? So. I registered with the uh, AFL and paid the money and everything. We watched the grand final in, in a hotel, hotel room, room, all five of us yeah. sitting around this The other iPad. three fell asleep. They did. How <laughs> disrespectful. <laughs> they fell asleep. <laughs> and they watched the grand final on an iPad in New York, in yes, a hotel, hotel in, New York. in New York. Isn't that amazing? What was the name of the hotel? The Roosevelt. Yeah. The yeah. Roosevelt Hotel. The Roosevelt. Uh, not far from a couple of better, a couple of drop kicks away from the Grand Central Station. That's correct. Uh, New York's an amazing place. Actually. Look, I'd love to go back there sometime. But I was thinking a little bit about, you know, the the uh, scriptural, um, you know, uh, uh, what's the word I want to use? The, um, the precedent. Yeah, scriptural for, precedent for following the bulldogs. The bulldogs. Well, there is a precedent for. 
uh, barraging for the bulldogs in the I've Bible. I've never noticed the word bulldogs in the Bible. Well, the word dogs are, is in, in the, the New Bible. Testament oh, a few yeah? times. Do you remember the encounter that Jesus and the disciples had with the Syrophoenician woman? Yes, I remember that encounter. And she said... Or reading that encounter. And, I wasn't there. And she said, even the dogs deserve the crumbs that fall from, from the master's table. table. And Jesus actually commended her for her faith. Yes. Which means... Yes. I know this is a long <laughs> shot. It's a long shot. Which it's a very long shot. That if you follow the dogs, you have faith. <laughs> Either that or you have breadcrumbs. Or breadcrumbs. <laughs> but the reality is this, Chris. Yeah. Would you rather support the bulldogs or would you rather support demons? No, the dogs. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So <laughs> if you are a Christian, you should follow the bulldogs. If you're not a Christian, that's your bad luck. <laughs> but Christians do not support demons. No, they Jesus don't. cast them out. <laughs> Remember that. Remember that when the grand final is being played. Mm -hmm. How's that? So that's my, uh, that's just uh, our uh, little bit of uh, pet banter for this week. Yeah. Um, it'll be an interesting game. Yes, it'll, it'll be an interesting be. game. I'm not really holding my breath, but uh, mm. look, I said that when they played Port Adelaide. I wasn't really holding you know, my breath. You know what's sad about this grand final? It's been played in Perth. Yeah, and that's is it two years now that all the all the men at church can't get together at Antonio's house and have a barbecue? That's right. I know. Antonio, do you remember the last time we we, uh, we had a grand final barbecue at your place? Yeah, that was good. Do you remember that television that wasn't working properly? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you bought another television, but yes. uh, uh, you know maybe for next year possibly. But uh, that, actually, it's true because there was a little bit of a tradition here at church yeah, there was. that uh, we all the men get together, we have a lovely barbecue, and uh, but I don't know whether we're going to be able to do that this year. Yeah. But us men, we will get together for some other occasions. Yes, Chrissy, you got something to share? Yes, I do have something to share. Well, you've heard that phrase, "home sweet home." Yes. Yeah, well, you know, after a long day, there's nothing better than coming home, closing the door on the outside world, kicking off your shoes, getting comfortable, you know, just to be, you know, by yourself. Because our home is a place of security. It's a place of acceptance. There's peace and rest where you can be refreshed, where you can regain your strength. There's no facade. There's no struggle. There is a little bit of maintenance, though. <laughs> so our home is our refuge. It's our sanctuary. Sanctuary. It's a safe place and underpinned by love. Love is the foundation. So love transforms a building into a home. Whatever that building is, it transforms the building into a home. But right now, our homes have become a place of confinement and struggle. Like a prison. Well, yes, yeah, sort of. So we've been confined to our homes, okay? So it's been done for our safety, but it is a struggle. And what we need to do is we need to remember that love is the foundation and not allow the current situation to rob us of our home and all that our home represents to us and to our families. So that's the truth that we need to remember, that love is the centre of our home and to do everything to preserve that love and to keep our home a place of peace and safety and not so much a struggle as it has become. But for the believer, there's an even greater truth. For the believer, for followers of Jesus Christ, we have an even greater truth that Christ is our home and God is our dwelling place. You know, Psalm 46, 1 says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. And there's one more verse I'd like to share. Psalm 4, 8. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. So this is the truth of the believer, that Christ is our home and God is our dwelling place. Now, as a believer, if you are struggling... It's okay to be struggling and don't be ashamed if you are. These are unusual circumstances that we are living in. So I say, let's find a quiet place, a place where you can close the door. Maybe the only quiet place in the house right now, especially if you've got children, is the bathroom. Go in there, find a quiet place and just or open shed. your... Or the shed if you've got a shed out the back. 
pour out your heart to God. Yeah. Tell him, speak to him about the way that you're feeling, yeah. that you're struggling, that you're anxious, that you're depressed, that you need help. Pray for help. And after you've done that, after you've spent some time with God, grab your phone. Mm. Now, God has not left us alone. Yes, he has sent us the Holy Spirit, but he has given you a family, a church family. So I want you to call a brother or a sister from church. You know who to call. You know that there is someone that you can call who can help you, who can encourage you, who can pray with you. Do that. Make that call. You know who to call. You know, I have two sisters and they will come to my help no matter what I need. But sometimes I will call on one sister instead of the other depending on my need. For example, one of my sisters can sew, the other one can't. So I'm going to call the one who can sew if I need help with that. Can't you sew? No. <laughs> So you know who to call, you know who can pray with you, who can encourage you, who can be a help for you. It could be Rocky, it could be me, it could be someone else. Make that call and ask for help. But I can't sew. No, you can't sew. Now, it could be that maybe your fridge and your pantry are bare. You know we have food bank here at the church. You might think, but I've always provided for myself. I've always worked. I've always been able to provide for me and for my family. These are not usual, not your common circumstances that we're in. Call. Ask for help. We're there for you. We want to help you. You know, when you, when we, for every person that prays, God, help me, there is a person that prays, God, use me. The God use me person is God's answer for the God help me person. Today you might be the one who is in need and needs encouragement and needs help, but tomorrow you will be the one to provide encouragement and to provide help. You will be the one yeah. that instead of praying God help me, you'll be the one that's saying God use me. You will be God's answer to someone else as someone else might be God's answer for you today in your time of need. So today we might, we might be the one who needs encouragement, but tomorrow we might be the ones to give the encouragement. So you've heard the saying, home sweet home, but there's also home is where the heart is. As believers, our heart belongs to Christ. And as we dwell in him, he dwells in us. One more verse, Psalm 91.1. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shelter of the Almighty. He is our home and rest. Our foundation is the love of God through Jesus Christ. I hope this has encouraged you. I hope that you can find the strength to reach out to God and reach out to your brothers and sisters. Here at Jesus is the way. We're a family. We're a family where we support each other in prayer yes. and in whatever way, even any material way that we can. Be encouraged. And if you're struggling, it's okay. Ask for help. And, on, and on that note, Chris, yes. we're going to pray for the church. Amen, yes. And pray for all those that actually might be doing it tough right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Heavenly Father, you've given us a promise, a promise that you will never leave us, never forsake us, never abandon us. Lord, we've seen these situations in our life in the past where you've always come through. You've always been there, Lord, when things are looking pretty tough. And Lord God, we thank you for the body of Christ, the church that we belong to. Lord, where we can call on those that we know will help us in supporting us in prayer and, and in different ways. So Lord, I pray for our church. I pray for all of our, our folk, Lord God, that call Jesus is the way, their spiritual home. Lord, that you would uh, give us this sense of belonging once again, even though that we, Lord, we've been uh, uh, um, separated, but Lord, we still want to foster this reality that we still belong to this particular church, the body of Christ. Father, thank you for this word that Chris has shared. Lord, we understand that things get tough and it's okay to feel that way, but it's also, Lord God, an amazing thing for us to know that we can reach out and others can reach out to us. Lord, be with us and bless us. Lord, as, as we get ready to come together again as a church, in Jesus' name, amen. And amen. amen. 
Amen. See you soon. See you soon. Go the doggies. Go to doggies. Remember, <laughs> doggies. <not> <laughs> Bless you. Bye.